I wasn't sure if they were gonna catch that one, but they did. Yes, there's a high volume of vehicles, but it's flowing. So, what's the reason? Look, there's another armored truck, my goodness. So many of them today. I saw one of the enforcers in the background, staging himself ready. Oh, he didn't stop. Didn't stop. Second enforcer didn't stop. My goodness. But I think another enforcer managed to bring him to a stop. Sir, meron lang lang ano natin. License. Now that armored truck has been ticketed, he's sent on his way. It's already dangerous enough being an enforcer. And there are some incidents that make it more dangerous. And I know that some people spread this lie. Oh, MMDA enforcers are getting a commission. That's why they're apprehending. That's not even true. They get paid the same amount whether they apprehend one person or a hundred people. They don't have a commission, they don't have a percentage, nothing like that. Maybe some LGU enforcers, but not the MMDA. It's another member of the Hazard Hazard Gang. Flag him off to the side. It's a nice car, but it's not a bus. And in fact, they just stopped that van there also. Another common thing is those drivers and riders that would say, it's an emergency. And then you hear the enforcer ask them, so what's the emergency? And they just scratch their head. But he'll say, oh, maybe you have a text message or a call log or something like that. Well, that's like Maybe sometimes there is genuine emergencies. I've seen it, but it's rare. That's the one you saw leave the bus lane a moment ago. It's already being pulled off to the side for ticketing. Okay, they managed to catch that ride. He was going so fast, I didn't think they were going to get him. There's another one that's going to be flagged down. I understand that they want a quicker turnaround on their pick up and drop off, but what if you lose your license, right? That's your livelihood. You're relying on your motorcycle and your driving license so that you can earn every day. And actually it's a good job. Ankas Rider is a really good job. The pay is, you know, it's a decent job. But if you lose your license because you keep going inside the bus lane, Sai Young. And in fact, the new penalties that are coming into effect, they include suspension of license and revocation of license for repeat violators. So it's not just a financial penalty or a demerit point, it's really heavy for those repeat violators. Although right now the penalties are too low. See that car in the background that just left the bus lane? Now I know what you're thinking, if they leave the bus lane when they see enforcers, why not just put enforcers all along the bus lane? Well imagine, north and south, you've got around 40 kilometers of bus lane. They simply don't have enough manpower to guard every inch of the bus lane, especially 24 seven. At least with the ticket, with the penalty, it acts as some kind of deterrent. Of course, the penalties are too low right now, but once they're increased, it will act as a much better deterrent. You see that little Suzuki is being pulled off to the side. He left the bus lane also when he saw enforcers, but it's too late, they already saw you. There's one more rider being flagged off to the side. He seems to know the drill. There's another armoured van in the background, armoured truck, orange, he just left the bus lane now. Hopefully the enforcers saw it. I mean, there's two enforcers right over there, three enforcers, so I think it's impossible that they didn't see it. That joyride also, pulling off to the side, and the... La la. Well, clearing the alternative routes of illegally parked vehicles. This will help to reduce traffic and congestion. A lot of people say, why don't you fix the traffic on EDSA? Well, a lot of that traffic is caused by the sheer volume of vehicles that flock to EDSA. So if you can give them somewhere else to drive, obviously that helps. That's why you have to clear the alternative routes every day. Now in an ideal world, there would be some kind of no garage, no car policy. But in reality, with the recent trend towards supporting cities that want to sell their roads and sidewalks and even bicycle lanes for parking, I would very much be surprised if such a bill could get passed. See that big sign there? No parking, tollway zone. 
And sure enough, the vehicle is being towed away. It's being put on the flatbed now. Looks like there might be a driver, maybe just came out too late. And a little further along, you'll see two cars parked here, but they've already been ticketed. The drivers did come out, so they'll just be told to move those. Honestly, towing is a more effective deterrent because it's more expensive and it wastes half a day. A lot of people don't care about 1,000 peso ticket. You see another big sign here, no parking tollway zone. And that's exactly what they're doing to that Chevrolet over there. They're about to pull it up onto the flatbed. I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see it easier. And in fact, just on the next street, it's the same thing. Big sign, no parking tollway zone. And it's going up on the tow truck. That rider there is turning around because obviously he's seen the enforcers, slippers, no helmets. A lot of people have that mindset that you only have to obey if you see an enforcer. Just like some of the comments that say, oh, it's entrapment to enforce the bus lane. How is it entrapment? Who enticed them or guided them or somehow made them go in the bus lane? Nobody, right? And they know they're in the bus lane. That's why they run away when they see enforcers. But some people really have that mindset. I only have to obey if there's an enforcer. If there's no enforcer there, then there's no rules. I just saw an old lady walking in the road. See in the background there with the purple clothing? The reason is these two vehicles are obstructing the public sidewalk. The enforcer has spoken to the guards and advised them that they need drivers here ASAP to avoid being towed. So the red one has already been ticketed and this one's going up.